Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and you're watching Disney Channel. I'm just kidding. That was a comment on my last video and it made me kind of cry of laughter. Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video about the new Too Faced palette. I've been seeing this all over Instagram and you guys have been really wanting me to do a tutorial with this palette. Um, they sent it to me, so I did not buy this. I was a part of the PR package. But yeah, this is the Ultimate Neutral Eyeshadow Collection. Um, I just read that off the back. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this everywhere. It's literally been like, it's been breaking the internet. So this is what it looks like. It is so gorgeous. It is like everything neutral. You have warms, cools, a ton of shimmers. There are not a ton of mattes in here. Pretty much the only matte shades in here are the transition shades, which is awesome because everyone needs a, you know, a lot of good transition shades and there's at least like four really good transition shades in here, which is so dope. But pretty much the rest of the palette is shimmery, so if you aren't in a shimmer, this might not be right up your alley. Um, but yeah, this is the look that I came up with today. You can totally do whatever you guys want, obviously. You can not add glitter, you can make this more neutral, you can literally do whatever you want. I think this would be really gorgeous for prom. I know prom is coming up and a lot of you guys are asking me to do a prom makeup tutorial. I am going to do one. Do not worry, I'm not like, gonna leave you guys hanging even though I'm graduated high school and I'm not going to prom this year. I have been to three proms. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload at least four videos a week. So you guys won't even have to go two days without content from me. You're welcome, I know. You guys just need me in your life all the time. I'm here to deliver. So make sure you guys do subscribe to my channel and the family can grow. And yeah, have you subscribed, thank you so much. Without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So to start out, I'm obviously gonna be using the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. I also realized I didn't say that in the intro, but yeah, that's what it's called. It's the Natural Love Palette by Too Faced. So I'm starting off with this shade, I think it's called Love Teddy. And I'm putting it in my crease. This is with a MAC 224. Um, I'm just putting this one in first. I'm going to go back in and layer it with another shade. But putting two tones in your crease is going to make it like more dimensional and give it a little bit more depth to the look. Also, my favorite song is playing. Don't mind me dancing. Now I'm going to go with the shade. Oh, God, I can't even read what it says. Uh, Honey Butter, I think that's what it's called. And I'm using the same brush, the MAC 224, and I'm just putting that over top of Love Teddy. And like I said before, when you layer transition colors like this, it's just gonna make them um, have more depth and more dimension. So yeah, I'm just layering them, going back and forth. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade called Hot and Bothered, and I like love the shade, it's so pretty. It's also shimmery, but it's not like too shimmery because clearly here I'm putting it in my crease, and that's like the one thing that I literally cringe at when people put shimmery shadows in their crease, I like, Vom. But this, it's not too shimmery and it looks really good. So I'm using a MAC 217 and I'm putting this in my outer corner and bringing it a little bit into the inner corner. Um, I'm just really building up on the copper tones here before I go in with this next shade which is called Undercover. Um, it's just like a deep plummy purple. It has like a little bit of sparkle in it but it's nothing like too intense. Um, and then this I'm throwing on the outer corner of my crease as well. This is sort of where I'm like building up my cut crease, but I mean, as you guys are gonna see in like a few seconds, I kind of go in and like carve it out with a paint pot. So you don't really need to like focus too much on making this really sharp, but just building in that depth really helps it. Now this is Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I'm using a, oh God, I forget what brush this is, a two, 95, 240, no it's definitely not 242, it's something like that, I don't really know. But here I'm just going in and carving out my crease. You can use concealer if you want, um, but yeah, either like concealer or a paint pot or even a cream shadow works really well. So as you guys can see, I'm just going up into my crease and carving it out to make it nice and sharp. Um, I only do this about like halfway through my eye because the outer half I cover up with dark shadow anyway. You can put this all over the lid if you want your shadows to pop more, but you really don't need to save the product and just do it on the inner half of the lid. Once that's carved out, I go in with Heaven, which is just like a matte white shade, and then I pack this over top. This is just like to set it so that it doesn't crease and doesn't move throughout the day. It also just makes putting other shadow over top of it a little easier to blend out. It's pretty much the same thing as like when you put an eyeshadow base down, you're gonna put powder over top of your concealer or your primer just to make everything blend out a little bit better. 
Then I go in with that coppery tone that we put on the outer corner with the 217. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner of my lid and kind of blend it up into the paint pot that we just used. That's why you don't have to put the paint pot all the way to the outer corner because you pretty much just cover it up with the copper tones. And then I take the undercover shade, which is like that deep, dark, plum purple that we used. And that is just going on the very outer V of the eye and I'm connecting that back up into my crease. Um, as you can see, I switch back and forth between brushes to keep everything blended out. And then you kind of get like a nice ombre look that I showed you guys. And then this is the Too Faced Glitter Glue and then I'm going in with glitter. It's the um, OCC glitter in the shade beige. I kind of said that I hate this glitter and like I kind of do. It kind of sucks but it's a really good color for this look. So that's why I'm using it. Um, I'm not using too much. On the other eye, I used a little bit too much glitter and I, it was kind of like blunt and really abrupt. So less is more with this look. Um, just a little glitter transition is going to be really pretty just to fade it from white to glitter to copper to dark. It's, I don't know. It's like really pretty. So then you just blend it all back and forth until you're happy, until your likings. Then I go in with that copper tone again. This is a brush, oh god, I forget the name. I'm the worst with remembering brush names, but I'm gonna go in with this on the lower lash line, and this is just gonna be smoking out the look to connect it to the lid. And then with that flat shaded brush that I was using and that plum tone, I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner of the eye just to enhance my eye shape a little bit and give it more of like an almond look as opposed to a big round look, but I mean, you don't have to do that. Um, I'm just going back in and blending everything out to make it look nice and blended together. And then with the remainder paint pot that's on my brush, I'm going to go back in and carve out my um, eyeshadow to make it a little bit more sharp. Using these two shades, which I'm obsessed with, like I opened the palette and I saw them and I like started to cry because they were so pretty. Um, these are going to highlight my eyes, so I'm putting them on the inner corner and then underneath my brow bone. Just like look how good that looks, it's like so iridescent and like... So yes. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of masky before I put on some falsies. So this is the Smashbox X-rated mascara. It's pretty good. The only thing that kind of sucks about it is it stays like really tacky for a really long time. So when I'm like putting my lashes on and then I go into like bend my lashes or like touch them, I get mascara all over my hands, which I don't know, like it just takes a while to dry down, but I can work around that. Um, also, I've been using my fingers to put on my lashes as opposed to tweezers and I feel like it works way better. Like, I don't know, I can just get closer to my lash line. It almost looks more natural. And tweezers, like sometimes they have glue on the top of them. So I don't know, it can like move your lashes and stuff, but yeah, okay. Once the lashes are on, you can see I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So we're gonna move on to the face. Bronzer, I literally had two Hoola bronzers sitting on my desk because I'm just that annoying. So I sped this up again so you guys could see like how long I take putting bronzer on because I literally spend so much time on bronzer. It's a joke and it's kind of embarrassing. So yeah, I'm just bronzing my face because it changes your face. And I feel like when I put bronzer on, like that's when the look is like kind of done. You know what I mean? Like lips, whatever, brows, whatever, but like bronzer is just so yes. Um, these are the new Too Faced highlighters. They came out with three shades. Uh, I forget the names of them, but I'm gonna have them linked down below. I just wanna show you guys all three of the shades because they are so pretty, but I mixed these two today. I think one of them is called You Light Up My Life and the other one is like The Light of My Life or something like that. They all have the word light in them. But I mixed those two together. It's like the peachy one and the golden shade and I popped these on my cheekbones. It's not like a blinding glow, like that Instagram glow, but it's much more subtle, but you could totally build it up to be like a blinding glow, especially if you were to put like a makeup setting spray down before and then put these over top when it's like still tacky. It would look so good. But yeah, I'm just putting this kind of all over cheekbones, above my eyebrow. You know the drill, you guys know how to put highlighter on. This is Super Continental Blush by MAC. It's discontinued, but it's like my favorite blush ever. It's just so peachy and so pretty. Peaches by MAC is, I'm pretty sure, the exact same color. So go check that out if you guys are interested in a blush like this, because it just had to look together. It's really pretty. Lips, I kept it pretty simple. I just did a lipstick and a gloss. I really liked, uh, left the lips kind of natural just because, I don't know, like doing too much of like an overdrawn lip or a liquid lip even would just have been too harsh with this eye. I wanted to keep it nice and simple. So this is Cream Cut by MAC and then I put a little bit of Turkish Delight on by NARS and then um, that's it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more of my videos, you are in luck. If you missed my video on Monday, that is right here. And if you guys want to see another tutorial using a Too Faced collection, you guys can click this video right here. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!